In this video, we look at the long-term outlook for the lithium price. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. The lithium price gained over 1,000% from 2020 to 2022 on surging demand for its use, especially in batteries for electric vehicles, which saw an unexpected boom in sales over the past two years. However, the lithium price appears to have peaked short term and is now down 20% off its early November 2022 highs as rising electric vehicle prices and a potentially slowing global economy could reduce the high EV demand while new lithium supply is expected to come online this year. This short term dip leads us to consider what the longer term outlook for lithium prices will be and based on International Energy Agency data, it's actually not that clear. Looking first at supply here, production jumps 50% from 430 kilotons in 2020 to 649 kilotons in 2022. From 2023, in addition to production from current sources of 705 kilotons, there's potential for 35 kilotons from new sources under construction for a total of 740 kilotons. Total combined supply including new sources rises to 890 kilotons in 2024 and then reaches over 1,000 kilotons in 2025. The rise in production becomes more gradual over the next five years, adding less than 100 kilotons over the period, reaching 1,094 kilotons in 2029, but is expected to pick up in 2030 to 1,146 kilotons. The IEA has two demand forecasts we can compare the supply to, a base case and then a high demand scenario, which when paired with the supply scenario suggests very different outcomes for the lithium price. Under the base case scenario, demand outpaces supply in 2022, which would explain some of the price rise we've seen over the past year, but from 2023 to 2027, even before including new supply under construction, demand would be below supply, with a clear deficit only developing from 2029, which would not really indicate extremely high lithium prices. However, their high demand scenario is much different, with a 60 kiloton deficit developing in 2023, rising to a 230 kiloton deficit in just two years to 2025, and then hitting a massive 1,292 kiloton deficit by 2030. We expect that reality may come somewhere between the two scenarios, with the ongoing secular trend of a shift to electric vehicles likely to see lithium demand outpace supply at least to some degree, but potentially not as strongly as in the IEA's high demand scenario, given some downward economic cyclicality curbing demand, especially over the next year or two. Overall, however, the long-term structural outlook for junior miners already advancing in the lithium sector is likely quite strong in terms of long-term prices. For more on the metals markets and junior mining stocks, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.